News in the world of Valheim. Let's go. So we have our first development blog from Iron Gate for 2024, and they give us some really good peeks here at what's coming up with the Ashlands. Here's our first look at a Twitcher spawner. And they say that these things are everywhere in the Ashlands, like all over the place. You're gonna be dealing with them a lot. What's a Twitcher, you might say? We've seen some pics before, but now they bring them to life with some video clips in this new walk and talk. I'll put a link to that in the description if you wanna watch the whole thing. I gotta say they look really creepy. Those movements remind me of something from a horror movie. A few other little highlights of things that they mention in the walk and talk is that they do mention there is another creature that they haven't mentioned to us before, shown any pictures of it, so that's still gonna be a surprise. And they talk about how it can be a lot of fun, but it's also could potentially be frustrating playing in the Ash Ashlands, and that's kind of like a fine line, and so they're hoping to get that line correct. We see some new footage of the Valkyrie, which look is, is looking terrifying, foreboding even. And it's gone through a lot of development. They almost took it out at one point, but they seem to be happy with where it is right now. And they mentioned that if you want to avoid a swift death, then you should definitely keep an eye on the sky for this one. They give us this image as an example of a place to find a minute or two of respite. And they say that this is inside a temple but you have to be careful as well in case the charred dead decide to return. So Temple, that reminds me of the cultists in the mountains, of course. It's also interesting that they refer to this as a temple and seems like this could be different than a fortress. Are those two different types of locations? So maybe the temples are like the dungeons? Then what are the fortresses? I don't know. We got some of these cool red vines over here. If they keep to suit though, we will not be getting those as a build part, although it will take half a second for modders and dev commands to get them in your game if you want to do it that way. They comment on how there's a lot of more ash in the environment now and how they were trying to find that balance between ash and lava because it's not firelands or lava lands, it's ash lands. And they had mentioned before that the ash part of it is typically more close to the coast. And I don't know if that's going to be true throughout the entire environment now. Because Jonathan did mention too that this is a very diversified biome. And so maybe it's sprinkled throughout as well. One of the things that I noticed as they were walking around too is that you can see these little flying fireballs coming up out of the lava or here and there. And what is that? Are those random things that are happening or... Those some kind of new firefish that's gonna spit at us. I'm not sure what that is or where it's coming from. We're gonna have a different system for getting flametal in the Ashlands as well. They've changed how they're doing that system and Grimcore talks about how he's been developing different styles of these rock platforms that are in the lava because they wanted the lava to be incorporated in some way. And so you're gonna have to use these rock platforms in some way in order to get to the flametal to get that resource. They did touch on sieges again, and it's still, every time anything is mentioned, it sounds like they're gonna be really intense. They mentioned four of them using battery rams to try and siege fortresses to get the rewards that are inside. And, you know, they show pictures of all the deaths that happened during this. Um, and they talk about how, like, they really kind of had to try and come up with effective tactics and strategies of how they're going to do this, how they're going to work together. And that at one point they had built a base outside where they were, like, preparing and recovering and everything. And... The mobs started coming to them to get them. So that's an interesting dynamic. I could see these things walking out around the fortress. I don't know. Coming at you with this Terminator walk. Trying to hunt you down. And some of them have bows too. And then there's the Morgan. Here's our updated look at the Morgan. Are these going to be coming out of the fortresses? I don't know. This is super creepy. It seems to be... Like, this is one of the bigger mobs, maybe like the troll of the Ashlands, although we don't know what this mysterious creature is they haven't told us about yet either. And for release date, oh, first, the build of the month is Joseph Marvritis. I hope I am saying right that right with this 
cozy little log cabin and bridge. I like it. They're still saying that they expect the release date for Ashlands to be in the first six months of this year. And we're about a month down, so five months to go. And I keep track of it all here. Like and subscribe for all things Valheim. Until next time, happy gaming.